Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? I am just hooking on the duplex jig here. Well, I'm trying to anyway, if I can get hold of these hooks. This is not going to be particularly easy, I don't think. Get that one on there. So yes, yeah, so we're going to finish hooking up all of our tier 3 stuff today. And then I am hoping to take the excavator over to the other end of the claim and load up the um, the dump truck that we've got sitting over there ready and waiting and then take it back to over to this side drop everything in and in theory ooh, okay uh, that wasn't quite part of the master plan that really wasn't supposed to happen yeah I'm really I really am stronger than I know aren't I I, I am absolutely far stronger than I realize I've definitely been eating those wheat picks or spinach or whatever else it is that you want to say um so yeah we'll bring over the dump truck tip it in here and we're going to start doing a little bit of gold mining and hopefully we can see how fast we can fill up those um mats and we can get a load of gold and oh and then of course the final thing will be that we need to get a 300 ounce bar of gold and lob it in the river to make up for the gold that we kind of borrowed didn't we we we, we, did, we borrowed it that's what we're saying um so yeah we can make up for the fact that we borrowed 300 ounces of gold and we can um sort of go back to hopefully a bit more realistic gameplay so let's just grab that one back up as he was previously uh, as, as high as he's going to go, isn't it? Oh, I'll tell you what we need to do with this one, don't we? We need to um, rotate that bucket all the way up like that. So it's pretty much the other way around. And then that will hold it up into the air enough. So let's bring that one up this way a bit. And then we will swivel round. We've got to take it right round the front. So I'll go about that far there, I think. And then rotate that one round. I'm using my joystick that I um, hooked up last time to swivel it round while I've got these things up in the air. I mean, I could I can do the whole thing with the keyboard, but if I just use the joystick for this movement here, it's actually keeping it smoother, and we don't have that kind of jerky movement, or not, not as much on that jerky movement. Now, I have been told that apparently when those ropes break on, uh, well, whenever you're lifting, they don't disappear. They actually just fall on the ground somewhere, and you can pick them up and you can use them again. So if it does happen, we will have a hunt around and see if we can find the rope. I wasn't actually aware of that. I thought that once they broke, they that was it. You'd lost them for good and you, you'd never get them back. So if that is the case, that would be brilliant because it means that we aren't actually going to have to go off and get another rope. We can just um, find the one that we've uh, managed to break. Now, which way around does this go? I think this actually goes the other way around, if I remember correctly. Uh, I want to... Bring that one down like that. Yes, it definitely goes the other way around, or it would have snapped into place then. So how are we going to do this? Ooh, I wonder. I wonder if we can if we can do it like this. Now I can't lift it any higher, can I? Uh, I was wondering maybe if I could put it like one end down on the ground and then lift the rope and twist it round. Oop! Careful. Uh, not like that. Right, let's try swinging it round a bit. Is that going to break it? Right, now I'm going I'm going to take the ropes off a minute. If I lower that one down, I'll take the ropes off, and then we'll try just nudging it into place with the excavator. I'm pretty sure that's not actually going to work, though. Well, you know, I say that, but it might. It might. We might be able to get it to do that. So let me grab that end there and just drop that one down. We can hook those back on in a minute. Take that one off there. Uh... You there. No, I think you've actually got to drop that. Did I just pull that around again with my own strength? I did. I keep doing that. I really am very, very powerful today. I should go and, like, um, uh, what's the word? Um, audition. I should audition for something like the Hulk. I'd be, I'd be pretty good at that, I think. I'm, I'm, I have super strength. Look, you watch me play this game. I have super strength. I can do this. Now then. <laughs> okay, maybe not. Um, Let's take that one off of there, and so yeah, I released a video today, actually, um, whilst uh, it was a little bit before I record this one. As if you remember, I do have to record a little bit in advance. Now, the first point that I need to make is this is the final episode that I will be doing for Monday, because I have a family, 
I have a wife, I have two children, and I like to be able to spend time with them. And my current schedule is meaning that I'm having to record on a Sunday, which is no good. I can't, I cannot keep doing this. I cannot keep recording on a Sunday. That is the one day of the week that I have off. That is my, that is my one day off. Now, can we nudge this one round? Try picking it up. Nope. Uh, it doesn't seem to want to turn round. Oh, I might be. I might be able to do it like that. So yeah, on a Sunday, the Sunday is my is my one day off. It's the day that I spend a bit of quality time with my children, with my wife. And if I have three episodes uploaded on a Monday, I can't do that. I don't have time to get everything done on Saturday. So it means that I'm having to spend part of Sunday doing some recording. Now I. I love this. I love doing this. I really do. But there has to be a balance. And part of that balance is going to be that I will no longer... Oh, I did it. It snapped into place. Excellent. Right. Let me just hop out here. I'm going to hook those ropes back on. And then we can scurry back up to the top and start getting those last two pieces into place. Right, while we head back up the hill here. Um, yeah. So... Because I would like to spend a bit of time with my family every now and then, um, I am going to only be doing two episodes on a Monday. I'm not going to be doing Gold Rush for Mondays anymore. I'm going... So this is the, the last Monday that you'll have Gold Rush. Um, I will do Farming Simulator, as I've always done, and I will also be doing Banished, which will be released at uh, 4 o'clock on a... No, I don't want to do this one first, do I? I want to do the other one. Um, so, yeah. Those those games will be done, um, but I won't be able to do three episodes. I can do two episodes. I won't be doing three. The other thing is, we are approaching the end of what we can do with this game. Um, we've covered just about everything. I've done my absolute best to try to keep it interesting, but at the same time, drag it out. And I think that I have done that as much as I can. Now, I really don't... You know, I really shouldn't... Um, crush this thing. Let's try doing it like that, shall we? Bring that one down there. Um, this is going to be difficult to lift into place. This really is. I think we're going to struggle with this one. Um, you know what? It's starting to get dark as well. I'm going to go and sleep the night a minute and try and get rid of this croakiness that I've got in my throat so that we can talk a little bit better. Okay, that's a little bit better. And I can't see very well, but... Uh, well, I, I can see. I'm just thinking it's still quite dark, isn't it? It's, you, don't, you don't get the best light first thing in the morning in this game. Now, can I get in there so that I can get hold of those ropes? I can. Oh, actually, I can get the ropes from this side, can't I? So if I grab that one, I can put that one over on. Oh, that one goes straight onto this end. And, or does it? No, that one's going to go onto here, actually. Right, so yes, on a Monday I will be doing a farming simulator as I have been doing for quite some time now and I will also be doing um, Banished. That will be coming once a week rather than once every two weeks because so many people have been asking me to do that one. Um, I apologise for my croaky voice today. It's, there doesn't seem to be a lot that I can do about it. I have tried clearing my throat and drinking and yeah, it's still croaky. It's, it's, it's just going to be like this today, I think. Um, so... Right, I think that's hooked on. Then, for the rest of the week... Now, for, for this week, we're going to be doing Gold Rush each day. But we are approaching the end of what we can do here. I have tried to drag this out as much as I can because people have enjoyed this particular style of gameplay. You've, um, a lot of you have really enjoyed the way that I've done just sort of a little task each day and I've not sort of raced through it all. But we've sort of reached the point where we've covered most of the gameplay. Now, there is some gameplay left, and I'm going to keep playing this game. But I don't think there is enough in this game for me to be able to keep doing it every day and to keep making it interesting enough so that people will want to actually watch these videos. So, I know that I've mentioned this before. I'm going to be doing one more week. So you've got one more week of, seven, of ep an episode every day. We'll do one more week right through from now until next Sunday. Next Sunday will be the last one. Then, after that, Mondays, we won't have any, and I'm starting a new game. Now, that was one of the things that I asked in this video that I posted up, and I said that I've sort of been doing a little bit of looking around, and I've had a lot of suggestions, and two of the most popular suggestions I've had so far have been to do Stardew Valley, and 
or to do Oxygen Not Included. So I asked for both of those games, I asked you what you thought of them or if you prefer something else entirely. And quite a few people have said yes, they do like the sound of Oxygen Not Included. But far more people have said that they like the sound of Stardew Valley. So I'm going to start playing Stardew Valley three days a week and rope too short. What do you mean it's too short? It's, it's there. It's right there, look. Seriously, that's it. I've, I've just got, I'm going to have to just crowd that bucket over just a tiny, tiny fraction and that'll be enough. Um, so yeah, a huge number of people have requested Stardew Valley. And as a result, I'm going to start playing that next week. So in, well, be in seven days' time. Um, I'll, I'm thinking that I will probably do Gold Rush on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. And then I will do Stardew Valley on a, um, a Wednesday, on a Friday, and on a Sunday. So you get three episodes of each. It'll alternate each day so that every every second day you will still be getting some Gold Rush. And for those of you who have grown a little bit tired of Gold Rush, you won't be sort of you won't be getting it every day. There'll be something else for you to watch instead. Um, give me your thoughts. Give me your opinions on this. O Oxygen not included had far fewer. Um, it seemed to have a lot less interest than um, Stardew Valley. Now a lot of people suggested other games that I could play. Um, but I haven't really had any sort of standout. I've had several people asking for like Call of Duty and um, Battlegrounds and, and so on and um, games like that. I'm not going to be playing those sorts of games. I did briefly play Destiny 2 last week and you know the week before but nobody seemed particularly interested. So um, first person shooters don't really have a place on this channel. This is just not enough interest in them. Um, you know, I'd, Add to that the fact that I absolutely suck at playing those games anyway. Um, I don't particularly enjoy those games either, which probably accounts... It's probably part of the reason that I'm really bad at playing them, and... Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I just I just don't particularly enjoy playing those sorts of games. So, um, yeah, we, we won't be playing any of um, the first-person shooters like Call of Duty. This, um, this doesn't really have a place on this channel, I don't think. Oop, no, I want to do that. So let's take that one off. Um, so Oxygen Not Included did have some interest. It did not have as much interest as Stardew Valley. So Oxygen Not Included is going to be taking the place of Destiny 2. I will be playing that on a Friday. So one episode a week on a Friday I will play Oxygen Not Included. And um, three episodes a week on a Wednesday, on a Friday... And on a Sunday, I will be playing Stardew Valley. So I really hope that you like these new games that I'm bringing in and you enjoy the playthroughs that I do. Um, if there is anything in particular that you would like to see, then obviously head into the comment section down below and let us know. Head over to that video and it's just um, very recently on the channel. You just scroll through the list of recently uploaded videos. You'll see it there fairly easily. Take a look at that one and give us your thoughts and opinions in the video. Um, obviously, this channel is only going to be successful. If this channel only re will remain successful if I play what you want to see. And I've noticed that the numbers are still good for Gold Rush. But when I do episodes that I'm just repeating the same gameplay over and over and it's not a lot of variation... People grow very bored with it and they don't like it. Now, I can't... So, obviously, I can't keep doing different things all the time. It's just there isn't the gameplay here. This game does not have enough content for me to be able to keep it going like this. So, that's why I'm going down to three days a week. So, there will still be some Gold Rush. Um, there just won't be as much from next week. You've still got a week of it, so don't worry about that. There's no, You don't have to go anywhere just yet. There is still plenty of content here for you. For a little while right so we've got our two blue points right here so if i dump that one there and then i want to get the next generator and i'm going to put that one over the other side um where is it what did i do with oh i dropped it all the way down here so we grab this generator down here and whiz this one up around this side we should have this is going to work out a lot better than the other one because we can put the generator right here. We've got one plug there and we've got the other plug right here. So I can put the two generators fairly close to each other and they're not going to be interfering with each other. We also don't have to worry about trying to get into there from this side either. Um, I think everything's going to work out quite nicely with that. The only issue is do we have enough blue cables? I know we've got some blue cable over here. There's one there and 
Where else did I have blue cables? Pretty sure I got some more somewhere. So let's get that one coiled up. There we go. Um, if there's anything that you'd like to see me doing in this game from this point on, don't hesitate to let me know. I've had a few suggestions of different things that we can do with the buckets to, like, test for magnetite and things like that. A few people would like me to use the bulldozer. We don't currently have the money to get the bulldozer, but we will hopefully fairly soon. We've got 20 ounces of gold at the moment, and we've got loads of workers. Now, somebody else has... A, a few people have actually suggested um, that I should go and get... A uh, whole load of hog pans and take them. I bring them either here or take them out to Rivertown and dump them at not ri yeah Rivertown um, and dump them out there. And then once I place them on the ground out there, or it doesn't really matter where I put, I can put them anywhere. Um, I can then assign workers to each and every one of them. So I mean, it it does sound a bit like a bug, and I suspect it'd probably be patched at some point. But it hasn't been patched yet. It is still in the game at the moment, so we could go and do that. That would be a valid gameplay thing that we could try and do in order to try to harvest a little bit more money. Remember, we're still going to have to pay the workers in order to be able to do that. So it could be an interesting exercise to see if we could do that. Go and get a. Uh, half a dozen or a dozen um hog pans uh i think probably the hog pan pump because i don't actually know if the hog pan pump gives more than the hog pan no pump but i would assume that it does ever so slightly it's it's going to be quicker it's certainly quicker for the player so we'll try that one that's one thing that we're going to try at some point um let me put that one on there so we've got those two hooked up um so if there's any other suggestions you've got, things you want me to do, then obviously let me know and I will do my absolute best to make sure that I get them all in included into the gameplay. Um, I need two blue cables. Where have I got my... I think I might actually have some over in the pickup over here. We'll go and have a look. I have two blue cables in the pickup and I have also the mosses and the grills and stuff. So we'll take these over to the other side and we can start loading them into this jig as well. And once we got those loaded up, we should be good to start fueling up and getting started. I'll just stop there a moment, and we can take the cables out the top and get this bit going. Oh, the one thing that we do need to run a long cable for is the uh, the, the other one. Yeah, that's what I want. That one on there, and... Oh, no, I just want to bring it over to here, don't I? Just an, and hook it onto that point. Grab you. Put you on there. There we go. And one more that will go from the trommel there up through and then we've got to run obviously we've got one more we've got the small cable that's got to run from the duplex jig and we've got to bring that one up round and uh, where can I put that actually I might just be able to trail that one over the top of there that could work it did work on the last one didn't it I'm pretty sure it did anyway and grab you there we go run up through and hook you in here so I would like to hear your opinions. I mean, Stardew Valley is definitely not going to be for everybody. There's no question about that. But then a lot of games aren't for everybody. There's, there's all kinds of games and there's all kinds of gamers. Um, the important thing is that because this channel is, you know, only successful if people are playing what... If people are watching what I'm playing, I really need to know what you're going to be most interested in watching. So it, it doesn't matter if you think, oh yeah, that game's okay... What matters is, are you going to watch me play the game? That's that's the bit that I really need to know. That is the, the bit that will actually make a significant difference to me. Um, and, I mean, the same as it does for any YouTuber. There's, there's lots of YouTubers who have played various different games and then decided, oh, you know what, I want to play something else. I mean, I, I've done the same myself. I've tried different games, and people just don't want to watch them. They're just not interested in those games. It's not in their tastes. And I'm very well aware that the people of this channel certainly are not interested in things like call of duty um it's it's not your style it's not your type of gameplay and that's perfectly fine that is you know it's the kind of stuff that i need to know up front um games like this and like farming simulator obviously this i'm known for like simulator type games and the reason i think that stardew valley is getting a lot of interest is because that game is kind of like a simulator it's, it's not it's different to anything else that we've done but at the same time it's not completely out of the way you know i really shouldn't have that lying on its side like that it's just what do i do there uh the rope is fixed what rope is fixed? Well, I picked it up and it put that one there. But where's the oil? Where's the can gone? Where's where's our fuel? Is it over here? That's that's gone, 
<laughs> That's just like catapulted off into nowhere. That has completely vanished, doesn't it? Um, I don't see any sign of it. That that is just that's gone. That's that is gone into oblivion. We will never see that again. I don't think. Um, okay, so don't try to pick the can up while the fuel nozzle is inside it because it doesn't like it. It really, <laughs> really doesn't like it. I love this game. I really do. I, there's something that I particularly enjoy about games with bugs. I like bugs in games, and eventually, obviously, you know, it's, it's nice to have everything all ironed out. But there's there's something about the challenge of being able to play a game whilst there are still bugs and so on active on the map. So, let me stand up, please. Just just stand up straight. There we go. Right, so we got that one. And if I bring him over, are you going to let me do it? Yes, you are. There. Excellent. It's working. Now we've got to wait and we don't pick the can up. Do not pick the can up. We want to pick that one up because I don't have another can. I've only got two cans over here. So, there we go. And we have fuel. Right, we can go and fuel up the... Uh, actually, I'm going to have to reposition some of these things, aren't I? I uh, the generator over the, the... Not the generator, the pump. I'm going to want one of these pumps here, I think. If I can... There we go. I want that pump there. And the pump down by the tent is obviously going to need refueling. And then I'm going to need the two generators refueled as well. One of them's completely empty and the other one is not doing too bad. Actually, we might get away with just the one pump over here. Um, I the reason that I've left this one down by the river is just for a nod towards realism. I know that a lot of stuff that we do in this game isn't exactly realistic, but I have left this one close to the water as a nod towards realism, just because if you have it a long way away from the river with the first pump, the vacuum that it puts on the pipe would actually collapse it. It doesn't do that in this game. There's no mechanic for that whatsoever, so you don't have to have it close to the river I could just have that pump up here and just have the one but I do like to occasionally at least try to play a little bit realistic so that is the reason that I keep the pumps like that um we just fuel these up I've just got to put fuel in this one and the other generator and then I think we're done actually I think that is going to be everything in place Ooh, put that one down open put you in there go and put the lid back on here so we don't get flies and dirt climbing inside it and Take you and drop you down there. Right, those are all in place. All we need now is this pump moved up to the top. And we're going to need one... How many pipes? Just one pipe, I think, actually. I think, it's, I think it is just one. We put this one here and out that way, like that. We grab the pipe that is coming off of the pump down there. And now, if we walk backwards straight whilst keeping this pipe sort of torqued like that. Oh no, that doesn't work. I thought that if you walked backwards whilst keeping it taut, it would, if I can get through, um, unfold, it would sort of unfold the pipe. But no, it doesn't seem to do that. I want to keep it straight because I don't like having kinks in the pipe. It just, it just irritates me. Let's just move that one over that way a little bit. There we go. And, oh, I see. It's like pinning itself to the ground in different places. So if I bring that over there now and then Pull straight. It should straighten up. You can see the shadow on the ground, but you can't see the actual pipe very well. Pull it up a little bit more there. And bring it around. There. In. Excellent. That's gone straight. And actually, that's pulled quite tight, hasn't it? I think we've done quite well with that. Go and get the last pipe over here, and then we can start this one up. We can at least see everything moving, and I would like to start shoveling some earth into the... Uh, into the dump truck today. I don't know if we're actually going to be able to put the first load into the machine over here. We might have to leave that until tomorrow's episode. So let's put that one on there and bring the pipe around here. Water and power right next to each other. Water and power being mixed together. Um, I can't think of any issues that could possibly arise from having your water and power right next to each other like that. Can you? I, I can't think of any problems with that whatsoever. I can't. I can't. For for the life of me, nothing springs to mind. I, I it just yeah. I think it'd be just absolutely fine. It's gonna be no issues with that at all. And we are away. We've got our new bucket elevator. So we've got a um, there's a conveyor that runs along here, and then it jumps into the buckets up there. That tips the stuff into the buckets. It does actually look like it 
would spill some on the ground, maybe? I don't know. I guess that once you've sort of accumulated a little pile around there, it's not going to do anything extra to it. And then they come up here and they tip slowly down into this shaker, which then moves on down through here. So let's start the shaker up just so that we can get that one running as well. There we go. Um, that comes down through there. That, so that runs down through that side. And we're going to put a couple of buckets down there for gathering some magnetite, I hope. And then we're also going to put buckets here. We could gather a bit more magnetite. Apparently it does work. And whether we can put buckets there, whether we can put a bucket in here to gather a bit of magnetite, I'm not really sure. And we come down here. And I will also put... Well, we did try putting a bucket underneath here last time, and that didn't really work. So we just need one up there. Uh, where's pickup? Oh, that's up here. We just need to load up the mosses and the grills. Let's switch everything off now. We can load up the mosses and the grills, and then we are good to go. We have got tier 3 all ready and loaded up, and it is looking fan schmabulous. I'm going to bring the pickup down here. Quite steep going down this bit, but I'm sure we can get through. On just a little bit further, right there, I think. Switch you off. Right. Open up the back. And I'm going to need to get those grills out, I think, before I do anything else. So let's lift these. We do need to be careful with these. We lost them over in... Oh, we lo well, we only lost one, and that's because I threw it a long distance. So I'm hoping that the same would happen here. We will only lose one. Well, I'm, I'm hoping that it's because I threw it. And so as we're not going to be throwing these, that shouldn't be an issue whatsoever. There should be no problems with that at all. So let's leap up into here, and you put that one in there. Go and get the next one. Now, we're going to use quite a few buckets, I'm hoping. From what I've seen of how it works, that you do end up filling a few buckets from underneath here. Now, I said last time that we were trying to use it that I thought that it was filling up very, very slowly compared to the previous time. But apparently that's, um, from what I can gather from uh, the Facebook group and that, uh, that's kind of what we would expect. We're hoping that that is the case because it's not that we're getting less gold. It's what's actually happened is it takes more gold to fill the mats up. So when you do an empty, when when you clean them all out, we're going to get a whole load more gold than we've had previously. So let's just get this last one, put it up in there, and ooh, did I put it? Did that go in place? Let's just have a look. Is that in place? Yes, they're all in place. So you've got to put these grills on top, or you do you actually lose gold. And in order to for the gold that's sort of coming down through, if you don't have these grills in place, you end up losing some of that gold. It, it starts washing away, and you really don't want that to happen. Uh, right, I'm I'm stuck. Let's put you down there. I really, I, I really, I really am. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Help! 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 No, this wasn't part of the master plan. Okay, let me reset. Let's try that again. Grab you, and. I don't like the way that you slide downhill. You're constantly moving. If you're on anything other than flat ground as the player, uh, you're still you're moving. You're constantly moving. It's like you need to put a handbrake on or something. But yet, yeah, we're a player. We don't have a handbrake. And last time I checked, it was entirely possible to stop yourself moving just by standing. And yeah, apparently that is not in this game. I, that is probably my biggest irritation of this game. I'm... I've really enjoyed what I found with this, with this, and uh, there's been so much fun to have been had with this game. Uh, all the different things that we've done, it's just been absolutely fantastic. And there are very, uh, I know that there are issues with it, and I'm, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that this game is without its issues, because we all know that there has been some problems with it. However, I think most of the, I think most of the problems have been fairly short-lived, or they've been fairly minor. Um, the the devs have been very fast to patch anything that they've seen as a serious issue. And it's been absolutely brilliant with the speed that they have worked through some of the problems that have like turned up in a game has just been absolutely incredible. I'm really impressed with the speed that they have patched things in. Um, but what I've not been impressed with is the fact that you slide downhill whenever you're walking. Look at this. I'm, I'm still sliding downhill. Now, I don't think the buckets are going to hold very well in there. But I'm going to put several in there, and we'll see how much magnetite we get. Just, uh... This is, this is something else that I don't like. You can't stack buckets. I want to stack buckets. Uh, so if, look, devs, if you're, if you're watching my video, um, please, let us stack buckets. We really want it. We all do. You know you want it as well. Just not carrying one bucket at once, or like the cables as well. I could hook three or four of those cables over my arms. I just stick my arms through them. I could take three or four all at once. 
And yeah, I know they could be heavy. You know, maybe you just do two of the hoses, one on each arm. But the cables, come on, please. I mean, we, we could do more than just uh, a couple of those. Right, I've got three buckets in here. I've got room for more than this. I'm going to get some more. I'm going to put five buckets in there. And we're also, oh, we also want to put some buckets up the top, don't we? And see if we get any magnetite out of there. I did try this over at uh, Two Rivers, didn't I? Uh, not Two Rivers. River Town, River Town. I will get that right one day. I'm sure I will. We'll chuck a couple in there. And we're going to see which of these do actually give us magnetite and which of us don't. Um, can I go any closer? I don't think so. Let's go and get one more. I'll get a couple more in that one, and I'll get a couple more in that one. So then we're good to go, and then we can start making our way over towards where the dump truck is in order to make our first load. So we got three buckets in there. I don't know exactly how we're supposed to set them up, but I'm going to give that a go there. And I've got five buckets lined up over here. I was thinking about putting a bucket there, but I figured that would be a bit too much. That, um, that one actually does feel a bit more like cheating to me than putting them anywhere else. Now, I'm also going to try putting a bucket there. I don't know if we can stick a bucket on the end of there, or if we could, um, if we would like want to stick one underneath. But let's try just dropping one. Uh, okay, maybe that doesn't work. Um, we'll put one down under here, and we'll just see if we get anything from that one as well. So there's our test um, our test lines all set up. We can leave the pickup where he is. He's not going to be any problem. And the excavator, we can now start taking over towards the dump truck. That is my timer going off, so we are very soon going to have to stop this episode. Let me just start this bad boy up. And... Right, the only issue we got now is that we've got um, a bit of a mess right on the edge here. So we will try to clean this up. That is what we're going to have to use the bulldozer for. Now, I've been told that the bulldozer is quite a beast. And a couple of people have actually commented saying they really want to see me using it fairly soon because apparently it's causing them some problems. So I will try to get that bulldozer going as soon as we can. We're going to need some money. So I'm hoping that the next episode or two we can do a decent wash through on the plant. And then once we've done a decent wash through on the plant, we can then... Um, uh, hopefully go and sell all the gold and everything and we can get enough money to buy the bulldozer now I've been told that you can take three it takes ten loads from this one into that dump truck to fill it right up then once you've got that one full it takes a further it, well, it, it takes three of those to fill up the conveyor belt thingy before you even need to switch it on now is that right have I got that right can I put three in there without actually switching the thing on at all? I'm not going to do that in tomorrow's episode because I record these a day ahead. If I ask you a question, it's going to be a couple of episodes before I'm able to give any feedback on what I've heard. It's just the way it is. It's just the way that I have to record in order to make sure I get all of the videos uploaded onto YouTube and we can stick with our daily schedules. So yeah let me know and tomorrow i'm not going to try to store any in it but uh, the following episode we might be able to if um what you're telling me is that we're actually able to do that now i have been told that the deeper we go now the better the gold is if we scrape from the surf or oh, and also the further away from the uh, front of the claim the front of the claim has got the worst amount of gold in it the best amount of gold is right the way over here quite a long way back so I'm hoping that this is going to give us some good stuff. So I'm going to stop right here. I'm hoping that that is a decent spot. And let's zoom out a little bit. We're running out of daylight again. That's all the light that we've got. So let's switch this one over and see if this is about the right place. I think this is a pretty good spot. I might want to be just a little bit closer maybe. Actually, no, I think, I think that'll be all right because we can just, yeah, we can empty it out like that. And then we can bring it back round and dig i hope right is this going to work are we going to be able to do this properly and are we going to um waste any i've also been told you know you do the 10 but there's no indication to say that it's full and i've also not heard from anyone if it's possible what you know once the um once the dump truck is full what happens th what happens to the dirt then if, if i keep spooning the stuff in the 11th bucket full does that like get uh, put somewhere else on the claim does it just fall to the floor or does it completely vanish if i was to just keep spooning stuff in to an already full dump truck would it all vanish and would i lose all of that cash so i've got no idea about that so if anybody's actually tested that that would be some really awesome information to stick in the comment section down below and i will uh, feed that back through in a couple of episodes time 
So let me just tip that out here. The advantage from next week of being able to... of doing another game as well, because I'll be doing episodes every other day, by the time I come to record the next episode, um, the previous one will have already gone up and I will be able to see the comments on it. So I'll be able to give more instant feedback. I definitely missed there. I can see a big pile growing behind the, um, behind the dump truck. Uh, so I'll be able to give faster feedback on comments and stuff into the game, which I think is going to make a difference. It should make some people happy. I know that people do get seem to get a little bit frustrated, the fact that um, they're giving me the advice and then I'm asking for the same advice in the very next episode. And I can imagine that would get a bit frustrating. So uh, hopefully this will sort of help to cure that as well. I know that it can be a bit of an issue. Just uh, somebody wants to work for me. I get lots of people that want to come and work for me. I don't know why. I don't treat these workers very nicely. I don't give them any time off. They get no paid holidays. And, yeah, I try to pay them as little as possible. I really am quite stingy, aren't I? I wouldn't want to come and work for me. I definitely wouldn't want to come and work for me. Right. I will finish loading this one up. If you enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give me a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Let them get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And I would really like your thoughts and opinions on what I've told you about plans for the channel today and what you think of having... I mean, we, we, we need to move Gold Rush to three days a week soon because, we, like I said, we're running out of content. I can't do time lapses on it. Time lapses take over 12 hours to make and I already do two of those a week. So, no, I've got no intentions of making time lapse of this game. I don't think it's going to work particularly well. Now, I'm just going to get out a minute. I'm going to check into that um, dump truck and see what it's like. Um, so, yeah, we, we won't be doing a time lapse. Enter. I'm, I'm, I'm pressing enter. Don't tell me that I can't use my dump truck. I can use the dump truck. Let me climb out. Right. 79% uh, full. We'll try two more bucketfuls and we'll see what that does. Um... Yes, I would like your thoughts and opinions. Um, what do you think of the schedule with me doing um, Gold Rush every other day? And then it'll be Stardew Valley to start with. I don't know how long that will go. If it proves popular, then we'll keep playing it. If it doesn't prove popular, we'll find something else. Um, or, you know, would you prefer me to do, gold, you know, like in a block? So do three days of Gold Rush and then three days of something else. I'm not really sure... Which would be the best? I mean, personally, if it was, um, if it's a channel that I'm watching and they're only doing three days a week, I would prefer to have it spread out. I wouldn't prefer to have everything all at once. I would, pref I would much rather see one episode every couple of days, and that way, it's sort of, it's, it's something trickling through all the time. That's ninety-four percent. If I stick another little bit of a bucket full in, that'll do it. I'm actually going to do one little test before I go. We'll see what happens when I'm. It's, it's getting very dark here now. Can't see anything. Uh, we'll do we'll do one little test of. Um, I'm I am a little bit too far away from the dump truck though. I'm I'm aware of that now. I I should have been just a tiny little bit closer. Let's move that up like that. And so there's a full bucket. Is it going to tip it on the ground? Did tip a little bit on the ground beside it. We'll do one more, and we'll see if that makes any impact at all. And if it like piles it up anywhere, I think I do think that it just ends up being completely wasted. I think the whole lot just vanishes, and we've wasted pay dirt. So let's tip that in there. Well, some of it was tipping off. To, actually, I think most of it is just um, tipped off to the side. That's excellent. Right, we'll take this over there tomorrow. I'm going to um, head over that way now and switch that one off and the lights off. Uh, but we'll tip it out tomorrow when it's morning because, uh, quite frankly, it's starting to get a bit dark now and I don't want to do this in the dark. So, start that one up. Put the lights. Oh, yes. Now, that's the kind of lights we want on the excavator. Why can't we have that on the excavator? That would be so much better. That really would. Now, how difficult is it to drive around with this thing once he's full? That's going to be the next main, uh, the big question. The burning question, what's it going to be like? He actually seems to be pretty good. He's, he's, he's got enough power on him. He's going to keep moving. That is excellent. Well, we've come... Yep, yeah, we've got through everything just fine. There is no issues whatsoever. So until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.